only change to the United starting 11 that lost at Aberdeen last week, he came in for David Hanna. Celtic had Tosh McKinley making his debut at left back, allowing Tom Boyd to switch to the right while Peter Grant returned in midfield and Willie Falconer played in attack at the expense of Phil O'Donnell and Simon Donnelly. The referee was Gordon Simpson from Peterhead. Summariser Alan McAnally, commentator Jerry McNee. So it's Peter Grant who kicks off for Celtic. And, uh, season 94-95, just three months old. And already this is the third meeting of the clubs. And both teams with a lot to prove this afternoon. Both have been very disappointing in terms of championship form so far. United have won just three games and taken just four points from the last 15 available. Already some anger creeping into the game. Celtic failing to register a win in their last five games. A disappointing spell for them. They've taken just two points out of a possible 15. This is Gordon Petrich for United to Malpass. It's blocked by McStay. Boyd. Good early ball from Walker to Byrne. Celtic putting players forward. Faulkner's on the far side. Still Byrne has it. Back to McStay. That takes a deflection and just inches past the post. So a good start by Celtic. And Faulkner's header just clipping uh, Cleland. This is Byrne for Celtic to Boyd. Boyd operating the right back area this afternoon because of the arrival of uh, Tosh McKinley. And the ball swept away by O'Hanlon. He's done all right since arriving here. Uh, two shutouts he's had in his four appearances so far, despite uh, the Team's overall poor for him, and he's in trouble there, but uh, that's disallowed for a foul on the goalkeeper. Faulkner pleading his case, but the referee immediately blew the whistle as the challenge was made. The high ball played in towards Faulkner, the goalkeeper watching it carefully all the way. And there was certainly an elbow up there from Faulkner. Not a lot of contact made, but enough for the free kick. Just on the halfway line. So Mr. Simpson from Peter Head looks as though well. well, a fairly stern test this afternoon. A few early free kicks already awarded. So it's Welsh. Just a little touch on there, and it's uh, not clear of the danger area by Tosh McKinley. A grey and misty day here at Tanner Ice. A few empty seats also, but uh, plenty of atmosphere. This is Billy McKinley for United. So one sends it in, touch on by Brewster. Malpass was well forward, the shot going in from Christian Daly. Uh, well taken by Marshall. Great touch from the big man there. Not back. Morris Marpas almost thought he was going to get through. Big Gordon takes the strike. Okay though. Andy Walker sliding in and uh, goal kick awarded. Well, Andy Walker has four goals this season, but uh, they've dried up a bit. Uh, First of last month was the last time he scored, and he's the only recognised Celtic striker to have scored this season. So that's an indication of the problems Tommy Burns has. Good run there by McStay, but pushing the ball just too far ahead, he gets a break though. Out it goes to Burn, the early cross, it's Collins! John Collins gives Celtic the lead. Eight minutes gone here at Tannadice. And John Collins, who has a tremendous scoring record against Dundee United, does it again. His fifth goal of the season, a great early cross from Burn. And a fine finish from John Collins. It's Dundee United nil, Celtic 1.
was exactly the kind of start that Celtic would want. A great early ball in from Paul Byrne. Nothing the goalkeeper or defenders can do when the ball's delivered in such a way. John Collins attacked it, and it was easy for him to have a finish. And Celtic have certainly started the better of the two teams and do deserve to go 1-0 up. It's a big state. Collins, Josh McKinley, in the line for Walker to chase. Petrich is with him. Again, another risky clearance by Petrich, putting Bowman in a bit of trouble. That comes off the head of O'Neill, and that's a free kick against McLaren. A little nudge there by the United player. Brian O'Neill started very well. He's won a few good headers against Big Craig Brewster, which I'm sure will do a lot for his confidence because it'll be a hard battle between himself and Brewster today. This is Boyd. Given away though to Malpass. It's played early by Brewster to Daly. That's a good ball. Boyd chasing with him. And the United man has to settle for the throw. I'd like to have seen Christian Daly taking it in and being more direct there. They gave Tom Boyd too much of a chance to get back at him. And as soon as he had made the decision to step over the ball, Tommy was there with a good tackle. Malpass, providing the cross. And United have got the equaliser. 13 minutes gone, and Craig Brewster back in the first team this afternoon. How United have missed his goals. Well, he responds almost immediately. It's Dundee United 1, Celtic 1. The high ball flooded in. He had jumped the defender. Marshall got his hands to the ball, but couldn't give it out. And Craig Brewster gets just his second goal of the season, but a welcome one it is for Dundee United. Well, that's why he's back in the team, because even goal like knows he's got a chance of putting balls like that into the box. And the big man getting his head on him, and that's exactly what he did. He got enough power on it. Big Gordon Marshall almost got a touch to it, or certainly did, but couldn't keep it from going in the net. And Dundee United are back in the game. It's McNally's header. Johnson sends it through to Bowman. Bit of dithering by McNally. And Brewster firing the shot wide of target. But uh, dithering there by McNally. Allowing the United player the chance. It's off the head of Daly. Claren shows a fair bit of pace there. He's caught by McNally, who's called over by the referee, and this will be a yellow card for the defender. Well, McLaren showing a lovely bit of pace. So McKinley is who swings it in, it's Welsh! And that one, just about scraping the outside of the post, Marshall diving across, superb header by the big defender, and this uh, Celtic defence being tested in the aerial battle. Well, they were certainly caught out once before and they were almost caught out again. And if anything, if they're not going to win the header, at least at least to put the man who's going to have the header off. So it's United playing with a lot of confidence now. Bowman sends it through to McLaren. He tries to take on O'Neill and he gets the corner kick. Brings a huge roar from the United fans. Well, both teams having a real go. Plenty of entertainment in the opening 20 minutes or so. Tom Petric has moved to the edge of the Celtic penalty area. He gets in the header. Oh, that's a marvellous save by Marshall. A superb header by Gordon Petric. And a save to equal it from Gordon Marshall. A powerful header by the United defender. And Marshall reacted so well. Roman sending in, looking for Christian Daly. McNally gets his head to that one. Grant gets a touch, it's McKinley. Well, again, the aerial threat from Dundee United at evidence. On that occasion, it was Christian Daly. As the ball was swung over from the right-hand side, Daly climbing above the defence, and McNally making a good interception, especially with Brewster there. This is Johnson trying to get through. It's away now to Faulkner. Faulkner doing well against Petrich. He's got Burn ahead of him. 
Cross comes well, saw her at the situation and concedes the throw in. It's away by McKinley. And the offside flag has gone up against Brewster. the man who scored the winning goal in the Scottish Cup final last season. we will be hoping now to get a good run of matches going after his recent injury. Here he is again, working extremely hard. Losing up to Peter Grant. This is Collins. It's Tosh McKinley. Good ball through. The opening's on for John Collins. Great play by Collins. And he's got another one. 27 minutes gone. Second goal for John Collins, a second goal for Celtic. It's Dundee United 1, Celtic 2. Dundee United at 6 and 7. It looked as though there was no danger. John Collins drifted into the forward position. Nobody picked him up. He cut inside. It was an easy finish for John. Routine. It's a training goal. And the Dundee United questions will be asked at half time, I'm sure. Just how he was able to run through un unattended. Here come United now. McLaren showing tremendous pace and McNally recovers well. It's a good challenge. Still United have it. It's McLaren again. McNally still with him. Good play by Andy McLaren. This is Bowman. Trying to find McLaren again. He has to slide in there, but uh, United giving the ball away. It's Collins playing it through to McStay. Walker's a lot of space on the right hand side, but. Stay caught there by Malpass, it's played through by McKinley. This is Brewster trying the early shot. And behind uh, for the goal kick. It's a good open game. Good through ball by McKinley. Craig knows he's the last man here. There's two or three Celtic defenders. But he entails to have a pot with his left peg. He's got plenty of power. Unfortunately for him, just couldn't hit the target. Just kept in play by Faulkner. That was good play. Now it's Burn, swinging in the cross, it's left by Petric and almost fell to Andy Walker. Well, Petric being extremely casual again. And almost allowing that ball through to Andy Walker. That's Collins working hard, trying to drive Celtic forward. As it should be well, the referee allows the advantage, but he may well take action against Brewster once the ball goes out of play. Brewster being called over. Well, he made the first challenge on Collins, who did ever so well. And then he tripped Burn, but uh, it's for the original challenge on Collins. It's played through by O'Neill. Collins taken out of the play again. Occasion Grant Johnson. Certainly Collins and McStay playing extremely well this afternoon, getting a grip of the midfield area. And well, this is Walker sending it through to Tosh McKinley. And that's what uh, Celtic paid out money for this week to Tosh McKinley pushing forward as often as possible down that left flank, something he's extremely good at. Welsh. McLaren trying to find some kind of opening here. So Welsh will try the long throw. And this could be United's last chance of this first half. It's McKinley coming in, but uh, Walker does well to scramble the ball away. And uh, McKinley was just a little bit late. And that's a free kick. Awarded to Celtic with uh, two minutes of injury time played. There goes the half time whistle. So, applause from the Celtic fans. And a splendid first half for John Collins, who struck after just eight minutes. McStay got the break of the ball, sent it out to Burton, and his early cross was fired into the net by Collins and after 14 minutes United equalised the ball slung in from the left 
And there was Brewster to hit the equaliser. But after 27 minutes, Tosh McKinley making his debut. Sent a good ball through to Colin. Some lovely skills from him. And he finished off in some style. The half-time score here at Tannadice. Dundee United 1, Celtic 2. Driving seat. Well, the clubs uh, evenly matched uh, last season in the Premier League outings. Uh, it ended four points apiece. But uh, Celtic this season beating United at Hamden in the league and then repeating that in the League Cup quarter-final. And now leading this afternoon by two goals to one. Well, claims that uh, by the United fans that uh, Marshall had handled that one outside the box with the referee. Waving play on. I'll pass. And clears. And the Celtic making a change. Tosh McKinley has gone off. And that's the change I don't think Celtic would have been contemplating. And on comes Simon Donnelly. You uh, can only imagine that Tosh McKinley took some kind of a knock in the first half. And he tried to continue in these seconds 45 minutes that's a bit of a blow for him on his debut and he was playing so well here come United now through Cleland it's uh, O'Neill who's with him and it's a corner kick so an early chance for United to do something in the second half Welsh moves forward so too does Petric there's a lot of movement uh, inside the area Almost a boxing match going on involving McNally and Welsh. Surprising the referee saw none of it. But he saw that. A lot of warning there. Andy McLaren very, very lucky not to get booked there. That was almost assault on the line. The referee decided not to book him, but he'll have to be very careful in future, I'm sure. Play through by Peter Grant. Well, passes header, McStay's in there. This is Walker. Now it's Burton. A bit of holding going on there, it's Donnelly. And the save from the Hatland, but there certainly seemed to be a bit of holding going on inside the area as Burton swung in the cross. A lot of jostling going on. Petrich there with Faulkner. This is Johnson. From Christian Daly. Brewster has to backtrack a bit. Small pass to McKinley. It's Christian Daly. We forgot to go to Paul Byrne and Peter Grant, but uh, McKinley digs in well. Good play by McKinley. Still McKinley. Well, delightful play by the United midfield man. Making his 199th league appearance for United this afternoon. Delightful skills. Is any ball a cross goal? So United now making a change. Andy McLaren is leaving the field and Jared Nixon will replace him. I remember Nixon scoring a quite spectacular goal against Celtic at Hamden in the earlier league meeting. And they also come on here against Aberdeen. The match recovered and uh, really got United going that day. So, Ivan Golat's hoping that he can stir things up a bit. The free kick awarded to United. And Boyd conceding it. So, Petrich and Welsh move forward. McKinley delivers across, the goalkeeper commits himself and uh, Marshall had completely lost that one. But fortunately for Celtic, the ball headed behind by Tom Boyd. Oh, big God, Marshall comes to claim this and doesn't make even any attempt to get it. We'll certainly be thankful there was a Celtic man behind him to head the ball away. There's still the pressure on, Welsh comes in, McNally gets a touch, Neil's here as well. A real commitment from both sets of players. And that's through now for Jerry Nixon. He hits the early ball. And 
Will still it's in play. Not now. So an early touch for Jerry Nixon. He might just be able to turn things around for United. Sends that one out of play. Faulkner kept running, and then the goalkeeper and forced him into that. This is Walker, but uh, loses that to Cleland. It's missed by Daly, picked up by Burn. Grant slides in, Collins is there with Nixon. It's through now for Johnson. Brewster's in the middle, Nixon's arriving. That one falling just a little bit behind him. That gets the United fans going. Good flow and move by Dundee United here. Grant Johnson almost takes it to the line. Just a little bit behind Jerry Nixon, just couldn't get enough on it to direct on to target. This is Walker. Collins. That's Tom Boyd. Donnelly. Boyd again. Laid off by Walker, the chance went for Donnelly. Well, Simon Donnelly still looking for his first goal of the season. He cracked in five in the final ten games of last season when he broke into the first team. And here come United, working out of defence quite effectively, but the final ball, the poor one, Grant Johnson striking it. They have another chance here through Malpass. In turn. He finds difficulty. Now it's Welsh. This is Daly. Good teasing cross. Welsh was well forward. But McStay has it. In comes Nixon. It's Jerry Nixon. And it's off the line by Tom Boyd. Still United have it. This is Johnson. Played through by Malpass, Brewster's there, and the ball dips over the top. But it's Celtic really making things difficult for themselves, and Jerry Nixon almost punishing them. And it was Tom Boyd who managed to scoop the ball off the line. Christian Daly began it all, sending the high one into the middle. Welsh was well forward, and knew it was, it cleared. McStay tried to get it away, it broke through towards Nixon. And up pop Boyd on the line. Clear. <laughs> by Johnson. That's Jerry Nixon down the line for Daly to chase, but uh, O'Neill beats up very quickly. Made up a lot of ground, and uh, he's been hurt in that exchange with Christian Daly. There wasn't a great deal Christian Daly can do about that. His momentum has taken him into Brian O'Neill, who did defend really well. You can see here, he gets across, plays the ball away. Certainly Christian nearly caught him in the chest with his knee, but really can be faulted. Both players going for the ball 100%. There's been a lot of commitment from both sets of players. Celtic still leading by two goals to one. But um, actually that could go anyway. Celtic starting extremely well this afternoon. United coming back into the match. Celtic taking over again before half-time. United with the throw in through the skipper Morris Malpass. This is Nixon, good turn by him, getting in the cross. O'Neill's there. Malpass sends it back into the middle. Oh, superb goal by Christian Daly. A superb header. After 71 minutes, it's now Dundee United 2, Celtic 2. A lovely turn out. On the left hand side by Jared Nixon getting away from Peter Grant swinging in the early cross. Was knocked away there by O'Neill. Malpass followed through with a powerful header. And a brilliant finish from Christian Daly picking his spot at the corner of the net. A great goal by Dundee United. Christian Daly, he has had a little bit more urgency than himself in the second half. There was a superb header to beat Jordan Marshall in goal. Stay now for 
Celtic. Looking for Donnelly. And three becoming involved. This is Collins. And the free kick is awarded against Cleland. So we're looking Celtic produced now. John Collins has scored both the goals. Appears to take the free kick. Nelly has moved into the area. So Welsh is there. It's Collins' head up. That's Donnelly. Johnson's with him. Next day, caught by Nixon. So the throw in awarded to the United, and Nixon racing forward. Brewster's in the middle. McNally didn't quite take that one. And there's claims for handball. And the referee pointing out towards the corner flag. The D United very lucky even to get a corner out of it. Jerry Nixon should have played the ball so much earlier to big Craig Rooster, who claims for a penalty, but nevertheless, the D United have a corner. Strong claims for handball there by the United players and the supporters. Meanwhile, the referee awards a free kick to Celtic. So a couple of controversial moments there, because that all began with uh, the throw-in being given to United when uh, Celtic thought it was theirs. Uh, Nixon sprung forward, got the ball through, McNally failed to cut it out. Brewster was there, and then the final shot coming off the Celtic defender for the corner. O'Neill rather powerful with that header, on a kick now to United. Well, it really is getting quite dramatic out there. Well, when there's pressure put on a defender, you don't know what he can do. Brian trying to get enough power on it to get it back to the goalkeeper. Unfortunately, just get too much on it. So it's McKinley who swings it in, Welsh is up there. And Welsh complaining that uh, McNally had been shoving him, still play rages on. It's through now for Jared Nixon. And Celtic managed to scramble it clear. Collins is still on the ground. It was Collins who did enough to block United there. And he took a bit of a knock, but he's back on his feet. His plague is on. This is Simon Donnelly. McKinley crunches in. This is Nicholas, Celtic substitute. That's Collins. And it comes off Patrick. I think everybody. I'm still at Bedlam now. So I yeah, thought everybody in the game, and then and, and the stadium rather all animated. Now everything happening. And for the United and both Celtic try to get this one up. So Donnelly trying to get forward, but uh, blocked there. certainly has, his, his goals have been few and far between this last month, and that's as close as he's come today. As important as this game has been to both teams, Jerry, I'm sure, OK, they would have lo loved to have the three points, but with four goals scored, I think they'll be happy. So the final whistle sounds, warm handshakes between the managers, and Christian Daly, Throwing United a lifeline after 71 minutes. Mal pass, the United skipper sending a header back across the Celtic penalty area. And there was Daly rising to pick his spot in the back of the net. The final score at Tannadice, Dundee United 2, Celtic 2. <laughs>